Today's lesson will be on ratios. Ratios compare two numbers. Ratios can compare hall to hall. In this example, Amy has eight pets and Andrew has four. We can use the table to the right to compare their total pets. The number of pets Amy has to the number of pets Andrew has is equal to eight to four. The ratio can also be written as eight colon four or as a fraction eight over four. Both are said eight to four. Just like fractions, ratios can be reduced. This can be written as two to one, two colon one, or two over one. Ratios can also compare a part to the whole. The ratio of Amy's dogs to all of her pets in this example is two to eight. This can also be written as two colon eight or two over eight. And likewise, it can be also reduced to become one to four. Ratios can also compare a part to another part of the same thing. In this example, we're going to use Amy's dogs to cats. The ratio of Amy's dogs to her cats is two to three, two colon three or two over three. Ratios can also compare a part of one thing to a part of another. So here, we're going to do the ratio of Amy's dogs to Andrew's dogs. That is two to one or two to, to one or two over one. Ratios can also be made equivalents. For every two dogs Amy has, Andrew has one. To keep the ratios the same, Andrew must get one dog if Amy gets two. So if Amy now has four dogs, Andrew must have two. The ratio is now four to two, which is equivalent to two to one. 